Hey folks, Matthew here from FiberglassSupply.com. In today's video, we are going to show you how to replace a broken Futures fin box. For more information on the materials, please check the description below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment, or better yet, give us a phone call or shoot us an email. Thanks. In this video, we are going to show you how to fix a broken Futures fin box. We have a box here that cracked when it got ran over by a car and it damaged an area around the board as well as cracking the fin. So that whole area that I just outlined with my finger, we're going to cut the fiberglass away from that area because the glass and the foam are crushed and the glass is cracked and so we need to repair and, and fix that whole area. So here I am using a utility knife to cut that back. And then we're going to take the fin screw out and get that bit of broken box out of there. The other way we could do this is we could use a router and route in shallow passes. But since this box was already pretty much broken out, I decided we wouldn't do that. We would just pull it out with some pliers. The other side of the box here is still pretty well attached to the board though. And so we're going to use a Dremel and route around that a little bit and, and get through that layer of glass on top so that we can break the rest of that box out without damaging the board further. Keep in mind as you're doing a Dean repair, one of your goals is going to be to minimize the amount of damage that you do outside that area. Once we've got the box out, we want to scrape out the bottom, get out the broken chunks of resin that are left in there. Uh, this one was done in the parking lot in a bag, so it really doesn't have a lot of debris in it. But if it happens in the water, a lot of times you'll have some seaweed, sand, uh, maybe some other debris in there. We want to keep the board clean, so we've masked off around the box so we don't get any putty on other parts of the board. And now we've sanded it around that box to get good adhesion between the putty and the fiberglass surface. Here we're mi mixing up the putty uh, using three ounces of resin and starting with three ounces of bubbles by volume. Uh, ultimately we mixed in about nine ounces of bubbles and make sure you add some MEKP catalyst to the, uh, to the mixture so it'll harden up about 1% with the MEKP. You can notice the putty is kind of thick about pe peanut butter consistency. Uh, the 3M Bubbles makes a lightweight putty that's easy to work with. Uh, so we're not really adding a lot of weight by using that putty. So you want to overfill it uh, and pop any bubbles. And once that's cured, you're going to sand it back flat. You notice we leave the masking tape on the board and that helps us uh, with a couple of things. First it was to keep uh, putty off the board. But now it's to keep us from sanding in areas we don't want to get into. Once you've got that sanded flat, you need to mark where the fins are going to go. Uh, we check the other side and are just mirroring that fin placement over. And we mark the rear spot of the fin and the front spot. And now we'll cut that out using the Futures One Pass Router Jig. Uh, the yellow thing there in the middle of the jig is the um, alignment template. So we align that on our, our dots. We tape the jig in place so it doesn't move and then we get in there and using shallow passes with the one pass system we're going to route down until we're deep enough into the board for the fin box to sit flush to a little below the surface of the uh, board. So here we're testing it. We'll pull it out, reroute it a couple times um, until we get it right. Here we're using a little bit more of that 3M bubble and resin mixture to fill any bubbles in uh, that were opened up when we sanded it out. Next we're going to apply some clear resin to the uh, fin box cavity and press the fin box in place. Uh, the fin box has been masked off so that no resin will get into it. We want to press that down and then make sure the little uh, holes around the fin box are filled with resin and get that all leveled off. Uh, we don't want any real excess resin uh, on the surface there. We want a nice smooth surface. 
Once that cures, uh, we're going to sand it. In this case, we're, we had some cracks in the glass around it, and so we're sanding down into those and then uh, rubbing styrene over those to make them disappear. And as soon as that's done, we're going to lay down our fiberglass. Uh, in this case, three layers of four ounce fiberglass, two layers of six ounce would work too. Uh, we're going to use a UV cure resin on that fiberglass and then laminate it out. You want it nice and flat uh, and check around the box for bubbles. Uh, that's what we're doing here with the finger is massaging out those bubbles and getting them uh, bubble free. We're using UV cure, so we take it outside. Uh, the resin will harden up in about five minutes. Now we're using the sander to feather down the edge of the fiberglass around the, the box repair. Uh, we're not sanding over the whole thing yet. We're going to remask it and put a sanding coat or uh, surface coat down. So a little bit of UV cure resin with surface agent in it. That will make the resin sandable. Uh, we're going to paint that over the box and nice and smooth. Uh, it doesn't take a lot. And once that is on, again, we'll take it out and cure it. Then we'll pull the tape uh, before we cure it. Uh, that way there's no resin over it. Once it's cured, we're going to sand that box down. Here I'm using some 80 grit on the Festool sander. First, I'm knocking down the ridge to open that box up. And once I'm happy I've gotten that and not dug in anywhere else, we'll sand over the whole area and, and feather it in. This I usually do with 80 or 120 grit. And once we've got everything feathered in, we're going to apply one more coat of resin over it. This is kind of our gloss layer that we'll polish up. Uh, again, pulling the tape before we cure it. That way we don't peel up any resin after it's cured. And then we give it a final sand where we start usually at a higher grit like 220 and go all the way up to 800 or 1000 grit. In this case this board is glossed um, or polished. So once we get that up to 1000 grit we get out the buffer and give it a little shine. And that's it at that point. Put this fin screw back in and uh, put the fin in and go surf it.